Sophia, Peter, and Sophie. This time, under the pines. Hello from Germany. Cultural shock. Wild and free. Summer. She's not here. It's perfect. Welcome under the pines. Hello from Germany. Katrin and I, we finally arrived in Germany. it's a little bit of a cultural shock. Everything is super tiny, the roads are tiny and the, the cars are super tiny and everything is so close by, like the houses, they are built like super close to each other and the roads are super small, so super narrow, so yeah, everything feels different. There's a forest, but it's maintained, and so it's not the same. It's not wild and free. Because I'm not used to it anymore. Everything is so small, and the Autobahn, the German Autobahn is crazy. But we are having a good time so far. <laughs> I enjoy being with my parents, and my brother. Everything here feels so, um, so organized and strict and it doesn't feel like that in, in the Yukon. You don't have a second where it's just silent, right? You, you always hear something like the ambulance, the, the cars on the, on the street, people talking, dogs barking, um, like yeah, now you can hear the cars, like there's always some noise. Kato's playing with his grandma in the garden and I'm going for a run now. Running here is super different than running in the Yukon home at our cabin. First of all, there are no bears. And yeah, mostly it's paved roads that I'm running on. There are no mountains, just a few tiny hills. And there are a lot of people that I see and dogs. And so it's way different than home. <laughs> I miss our cabin and I miss the, the wide open spaces and I miss Peter a lot and I miss the dogs. I miss walking, the, walking with the dogs and running with the dogs and yep. Now it's summer. It's definitely summer here in the Yukon. It happened so fast then here in the north and all of a sudden like everything, everything is green. And there's crocuses flowering everywhere and the fireweed is sprouting and all the trees suddenly have like little green leaves coming up and uh, we are so deprived of sun and heat and warmth and all that for such a long time here like the winter just ended and then it was summer i'm in the greenhouse now and i will plant the salad and the carrots that we already sprouted and uh, yeah, normally Sophie is doing the greenhouse and I just can't help but think about how much she would enjoy the heat right now. Sophie would just be running around naked, sunbathing and enjoying the heat that she loves so much and that she misses so much from our time in Mexico. But she's not here and it has to be done so that we can harvest our own salad all summer long.
tomatoes have to go in the ground. So I use a lot of my time as well going mountain biking with the dogs. Dogs love the heat too, they just they want to be outside all the time and uh, yeah, it's, it's perfect. Thank you so much for watching our vlog, I hope you liked it. And if so, please consider subscribing. It helps our channel a lot, it helps us to create, to keep creating those videos for you guys. And um, yeah, please consider subscribing and hit the bell button. And what else? Hit the thank you button it's down here and leave a comment head over to our patreon page maybe you can find something that you like and thank you so much to our new patreons thank you so much Lotzi Pan, Ray Kosen, Rodney Klattmer, Lars Nowhere, Seima Barakat thank you so much for your support we love you and hopefully see you next time bye Please consider. Cons